Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about how to bend a text uh, on a other surface. Okay. So, yeah, something like this here. So, first, Nomads Cult has no text feature. So, we have to use the other uh, software application to create our text. So, I'm using here um, Procreate. And you need here a square canvas. So, so the canvas must be a square. And, yeah. This is 1024 by 1024 pixels. Okay. And then, so I delete this. And you need um, a white background. And so I add a text. And I'm changing the color to black, pure black. So. This is a test. So, and the next thing here is I'm using this option here and um, center it on the canvas here. And that's all I need. So, this is my text. And now I export this as a JPEG. So, back to Nomad's Cult. And your friend for this is the tube tool. So use the tube tool. And so I'm starting here with a path. So, and so snapping is active. So you see here offset snapping. And so this is all you need. So, and now in the top menu, you see here the profile option, press this, and then edit the profile here. And you use for this um, a open profile. And then here you can delete here the nodes. And I bring the, the shape or the the curve here to the center here. So you see here on the object, so the, the, the tube is snapped on the other surface here like this. And now I'm using the solo view. And here in the material settings, I apply here on the opacity map here, this slot our text. So you see here the rotation is wrong. So I change here the rotation to 270 degrees. So now the text is here. And the scaling is not correct. So here's a checkbox for uniform scale. And so you can change and here translation and bring it back to the position you want. So you see here your text. So the position is correct. And here at the top menu, um, menu it's also possible here to use different radii. So we can yeah, do such things with the text. Okay. So back to the other view. And now, so first I'm Let's check the, the wireframe. So you see here the wire, 
wireframe is okay. So nice squares, it's a, yeah. So maybe change the topology a little bit, but it's okay, I think. So now I'm validating this object. Here in the topology menu, there's the MISC submenu, and here it's possible to reproject the whole thing. So I change the settings, and we need here the opacity checkbox active. And ray bias is 100%, so I test it without ray bias. Let's test it here, and I make sure here that so the other object here I hide, so that reproject only here from one. So this is what happens. So I'm using the solo view and when you reproject you get the curved shape. I hope you get it. So now our text is curved to the other object. And now all we need is do another reprojection. So now we change here the vertices to opacity to mask. And so I reproject now from itself. So I use this here. So you see here the resolution is too low. So we need more divisions, so I use linear subdivision and so I subdivide the mesh so that we get more topology here. And then I reproject again the mask. Okay, let's jump to the mask tool. And here we see the mask extraction. And so I'm deleting here the opacity map, so we don't need it anymore. So then it's clear what you get. So you see here the extraction works nice. So there's um, smoothness, sharp border, or is only sharp border. Okay, I think I can extract it. So, and the other thing here, I can delete here in the outliner. So, and this is what you get. So, I try to quadri mesh this thing and Let's see what happens. Yeah, I think it's fine. So 5,000 vertices for this text. I think it's okay. So this is what you get. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting and ciao.